Weather and life both change quickly. Do you have a farm estate plan? You need to learn the best option to help your family avoid or minimize federal estate taxes and other costs. I'm Brad Swenson, President of Swenson Investments and Commodities. We work confidentially with farmers, ranchers, and advisors to help develop the best farm estate plan. Well, the wind's blowing a little bit today, and that just makes me think about erosion. There are two major causes of erosion, that is wind and rain, but how do you prevent erosion, especially in a hilly field like Darren's here? Well, this field is a real challenge because I just picked it up a couple of years ago, and the erosion that the field has suffered is tremendous. It's a pretty hilly piece of ground. In fact, on this 60-acre field, there's 73 foot of fall from about where we're standing to the lowest part of the field. That's a lot of fall for a fairly small field. So you really have to think about how do we control wind erosion coming over those hills like it is today? And also how do we control the water erosion as it runs downhill 73 feet? That's a pretty tough task. And obviously uh, with farming techniques that were being used 40, 50, 60 years ago, they had a real tough time trying to control weeds well, and also fight this erosion. Yeah, because the reason why is farmers used to have to do lots of tillage. And you can see now in this field, uh, there's a tremendous amount of residue out here. What we raised last year is corn. What we're going to raise this year is corn. What we're going to raise next year out here is corn. And corn roots, they cover a lot of the surface area below the ground to hold the soil in place. And the residue, well, you've seen what corn plants look like. They get to be really tall, put on a lot of leaves, have a lot of stalk. And all that residue, it prevents spring rains and winds from eroding the soil. Well, not just the residue we leave on top of the ground, Brian, it's all that residue below the ground. Because sure. when you think about a corn plant, about half of the growth is above ground. The other half of the growth, you can't see. It's the roots down underneath the plant. And when you've got that tremendous root mass, if you can leave it in place, it just makes a tremendous base to stop erosion out in the field. Well, when we talk about that, corn has about five times the root mass of soybeans. So in other words, we could raise soybeans out here, and a lot of farmers will raise soybeans one year, corn the next year. But on a very hilly piece of ground like this, if you want the very best erosion reduction, you're not going to raise soybeans because it won't hold as much soil in place as corn will. Well, the other thing too, Brian, is look at the way these rows are planted in the field. You can't just plant every which way. And it's nice to say, well, I'm going to go across the side of that hill rather than straight up the hill. But hills don't just run in nice straight lines. <laughs> they run every which way through right. the field. So it's nearly impossible to do. Now on this field, we've got some terraces that were put in a number of years back. And those terraces help to some degree. They're about halfway down the hill and they catch some of that water to try and slow it down a little bit. And if there is a little erosion off the top of the hill, it'll catch that at least by these terraces. But really, they're just trying to stop that water from getting a 73 foot run. Well, what Darren's talking about with those terraces, there are many different kinds of terraces, some on our farm. We farm literally right over the top of the terrace, there's no problem. There are other terraces like Darren's here that's called a push-up terrace where the back side of the terrace isn't farmed at all, it's grass on the back side of the terrace. And that's when you've got fairly steep slopes like we have here, and when you push that dirt up, it gets to be really steep going down, so there's just no way you can farm that. The problem with terraces is you end up farming around all, this, all these terraces, and with big equipment, it's hard to do. So ideally, as farmers, we'd much rather do other methods of erosion reduction, like planting corn, reducing tillage, leaving lots of residue out in the field, things like that, rather than putting terraces in. But sometimes you need terraces as well. Well, the big thing about leaving all this residue and having this corn here is we're gonna try and absorb as much of that water on the top of the hill as we can. Because let's face it, we're on a dry land piece of ground. It's not irrigated. So in the summer, we're only gonna get so much rain. And really in South Dakota, it's not that much rainfall during the growing season. So if we can hold more of that moisture on top of the hill, we're gonna raise better crops. We're also gonna stop soil erosion. There's so many positive things when you start doing things right on the farm. And that's what most farmers across the country are doing. Like I mentioned, there were some techniques that were used on this particular piece of ground 40, 50, 60 years ago, and those guys just didn't have much choice. Either they controlled the weeds or the weeds controlled them. Well, they didn't get a crop. Yeah, but it's not just that. They also didn't have good planters and planter equipment like we do now. So we can plant in no-till or in strip-till like what you see out here. 
and we can do a very good job of placing that seed. They didn't have the equipment back then in order to do that. Also with modern technology we can use GPS like was used on this particular farm so all the rows are straight so we can follow exactly where the strip till was done in the fall so we only need to till a very narrow area and we don't have much problem. One last thing I was going to mention in terms of erosion reduction the one big thing that we haven't gotten to yet is tiling. Tiling in most of the studies show erosion reduction of about 50 percent and the reason why is because then you're able to lower the water table in that ground so when you do get a big rain the ground can absorb a lot more water that's a huge thing. Well there's so many things that farmers are doing today to reduce soil erosion and the, the numbers are staggering how much less soil erosion there is each year with current farming techniques. The other thing that farming techniques are improving on is controlling weeds like our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 